Five Bizarre Techs Implanted in the Human Body While so many people are still trying to adjust to wearables, the world has moved on to transhuman body hacking, biohacking. Ignore the jargon. This just means that people now implant technology into their bodies. Alas, welcome to 2018. Neil Harbison, The Human Antenna. I guess we have all been sleeping because transhumanists have already made people into cyborgs years before now. Such is the case of Neil, an artist who was born completely colorblind and sees in grayscale. He and his team worked on a project that will make him sense colors even if he can't see them. They developed a software which made it possible. At first, he had to be carrying the antenna all around in backpacks until one day he decided it was time to put the antenna inside his head. He did this in 2006 with the help of his surgeon friend. Interestingly, the technological implant is not simply strange, it works. Neil now hears colors. The antenna sends unique vibrating sound to his brain which only he can hear. Rob Spence, The iBorg Project Rob Spence is another similar success in biohacking. He is a documentary filmmaker who lost one of his eyes in a childhood accident and decided to have a better one through technology. Rob did this about 10 years ago. He's also a biohacking enthusiast. He believes that more advancements need to be made in the sector. For this reason, he has taken proposals to different companies for support but mostly denied any opportunity to further develop augmented applications. Jerry Jalava, the USB finger. In 2009, Jerry got half of his index finger chopped off in a car accident. I guess being a programmer, doing the normal thing and having the finger prosthesis done would be too conforming. Jerry did a body hacking DIY, implanted a two gig USB drive into his finger. At least his USB drive will never go missing. We are waiting for update on his finger drive, though. Bioluminescence, North Star V1. Did we say bizarre when we started? Ha, huh. yes. Grindhouse Wetware debuted a LED light body hacking implant in 2015, and we think this is absolute crap. Of course, they had to give it more function to try to justify the need. The LED light tech implant will communicate with your cars, doors, collect data, and send it to your smartphone like IOTs. The North Star V1 is non-chargeable, so it is mostly on power mode. It should be on not invented mode. Lovetron 9000, the human vibrator. Rich Lee, a body hacker, started working on augmented technology that will enhance his sexual organ so that his penis will be able to do what best sex toys in the market can't do. Already, Lee has tech implants that connect him to his smartphone. He believes that someday, people will buy his Lovetron 9000. We are not surprised. At least people from Austin, Texas will.